Amen. Oh, hi, friends. It's so good to see you today. I was just praying. You see, I get to visit with one of my friends tomorrow. I colored a picture of Jesus for them. I'm excited to tell them about my best friend Jesus and was asking God to help me to remember the true stories I've been learning so I can share them with my friend tomorrow. Hey, that reminds me of a true story from the Bible. A man named Abraham sent his servant to get a wife for his son Isaac. And the very first thing the servant did when he got there was pray. He wanted God to help him. Let's watch our puppet friends tell us the story right now. Fasten your seatbelts and turn your listening ears way up. Good job. We're ready. Abraham's son Isaac was all grown up. So Abraham told his servant, Go back to the land I came from and find a wife for my son. The servant loaded up camels with all kinds of wonderful presents and rode off. After he got to the land far away, he wasn't sure how to find a wife for Isaac. At a place where girls came to get water, he prayed, Let the right girl give me water. Before the servant had finished praying, a beautiful young woman came to get water. Will you give me some water, please? Yes, I'll get water for your camels, too. It was a big job. Thirsty camels can drink a lot of water. Back and forth she went, pouring water for them all. The servant knew this woman was the one to be Isaac's wife. Her name was Rebecca. The servant took gifts to her family. and asked if Rebecca could marry Isaac. Her father said she could, and Rebecca wanted to get married too. So she went home with the servant to meet Isaac. The camels swayed and bumped along the road all the way to Canaan where Isaac lived. One evening, just before the sun went down, the camels stopped. A young man was walking in the field. He looked up and saw the camels. His bride had come. Isaac loved Rebecca. And so they were married. Friends, God is always with us and wants to help with everything. I'm so glad the servant in that story prayed and asked God for help. God wants to help us with everything too. That's why I was just praying. I know God is going to help me remember my Bible stories tomorrow so I can share them with my friend. All I have to do is pray. That's today's big idea, pray. When you have a question, pray and talk with God. When you want help with something, pray. God will help you. God loves you and is always there with you and will always help you. I love him so much. Okay, so you only need one finger to remember today's big idea. Show me one finger. Great. Now on the count of three, shout our big idea. One, two, three, pray. Oh wait, this will be even more fun. Show me praying hands. Yes, that's better. On the count of three, we will make praying hands and shout today's big idea. 
One, two, three, pray. Bible Bunny is going to love hearing today's big idea. And I'm certain Bible Bunny will have Bible words to help us learn our big idea even better. Let's get bouncy and let's get ready to sing his favorite song. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. Hi, Bible Bunny. Thank you for joining us. It's so fun to visit with you and to hear Bible words from you. First, we'd like to share today's big idea with you. Are you ready? Okay, friends, let's tell Bible Bunny our big idea together. One, two, three, pray. In today's story, Abraham gave his servant an important job. He wanted his servant to go and get a wife for his son, Isaac. The first thing the servant did was pray and ask for God's help. And Bible Bunny, God helped the servant. It's an amazing true story. We want to be like Abraham's servant and remember to pray about everything. We were wondering, do you have any Bible words to help us learn our big idea even better? You do? Well, all right. Okay, friends, put your listening ears on. This is when you get to hear God talk to us from the Bible. Oh, Bible Bunny, those are great words. They come from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 3, 6 says, listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go, and he will give you success. Friends, that's just what Abraham's servant did, and that's what I always want to do. When we pray, we are listening for God's voice so that he will help us in everything we do and in everywhere we go. Bible Bunny, thanks for sharing those Bible words with us. Friends, I love today's big idea. It's so important. Praying to God about everything and letting God help us with everything makes life great. Let's sing about praying to God.
Friends, today was such a great day. What's our big idea again? Pray. That's right. God is right there with you, and He is right here with me. And God wants to help us all the time. Remember to pray about everything all the time. And then see all the wonderful things God does. Show me your prayer hands. What's our big idea again? Pray. You got it, friends. This is going to be the best week ever. Let's pray right now before we go. Let's be very quiet. Let's be very quiet. We fold our hands and bow our heads and pray to God. God, you are so awesome. Thank you for your true stories in the Bible. We loved hearing how you helped Abraham's servant with his important job when he prayed and asked for your help. We are going to keep praying to you all the time so you can help us too. We love you so much. Amen. Remember, friends, to pray. God will always help you. See you next week.